Philippe, Juan, hey, congratulations for being here at San Diego Comic-Con. How does it feel? Wow, it was outstanding for us. It's absolutely insane and crazy and uh, huge. We're overwhelmed in a good way. Yes, overwhelmed, <laughs> that's the word. I know, we, we were watching you sign some stuff. I mean, how does it feel to see this crowd and fans coming out for your, for your book? Well, go no, ahead, no, go, go ahead, ahead, please, no, please. Ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very new for here to be here uh, for us because uh, we 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 work for uh, a long ten years, but this is our first time in America, and it's very new, and it's like a dream come true. And you know, when you are a kid and see the comic, I I mean, I live in Argentina. It's very far from here. It's mm -hmm. another situation, and. Suddenly, you, you, you are there signing a book, talking with people. I, I mean, in the in the in the um, yesterday in the in the, in the awards and the Eisner Award. It was like, okay, this is a kind of dream. This is like it's not reality for us. It's, it's outstanding. It's, wow. What about for you? Well, I actually studied in the U.S. in Boston, ah. so. I have a, a, a deep love for American music, jazz, jazz music, and we both grew up watching American films and reading American comics, and here we are at this very center of this culture, you know? And so it's absolutely surreal, and I really mean this from the bottom of my heart. Yesterday we were talking to some of our childhood heroes, you know? You have Neil Gaiman, uh, Frank Miller, Kevin Eastman, all these people, you know, this is like uh, reminds us of the kids we were. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Wow. Now, where did the idea for Ballad of Sophie came from? Who, who came up with that idea? It wasn't a trip, you know. Do you remember what? that? It was in the car trip oh, yeah. during the presentation of uh, Vampiros yeah. or some book. Well, uh, we've, as one said, we've been working together for many years and uh, we both play piano and we both love music. Uh, I, I got into jazz, he's more of a classical musician. But so the idea uh, started because we wanted to, to try to, to do something about music in which by reading a comic book you could kind of hear the soundtrack. And so we started talking about it and coming up with an idea which was initially a rivalry story, but then it started, the story started uh, taking its own, its own routes and this is what happened. <laughs> we never can really tell where ideas come from because they develop like a plant, you know, they can, you can like kind of know where it came from, but it just uh, kind of wrote itself, I don't know. Yeah. Now the the story itself it's it's amazing. I mean this is this is a long complicated story but it is so mesmerizing. How did you develop the characters and the stories for uh, something like this? It was a long a long trip to uh, I mean to to make this book because uh well a half part of the of the process was in the middle of the pandemic. So uh, as Philip said, this is our second job, like uh, the, our side job. And for, in that moment, I had more time to work on it and, and to develop the, the, the deepest uh, ideas. So it was a, like a five years work, but in the last part, during the pandemic, was the, the 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 strong part of the process like like the well that we had that possibility to be to be deep in the story wow that is that is ter terrific to hear tell us about the artwork for for this because it is beautiful artwork and i i know you guys got a lot of recognition for this oh well there's one thing that i can say which is not that common i think in the industry because you get writers and you get artists and uh, usually like they make a living working uh, and networking. I never did a comic book with, that, with another artist, nor if one has written, uh, worked with another writer. So we're kind of like a band, 
Is he like the like a, a duo? Like a duo, yes. Yeah. So in that sense, we we kind of do know each other, and uh, so when I write, I know that he's going to read the script and he's going to tell me, you know, this dialogue. I don't know. Maybe you should think about changing it. The same thing with him. Uh, and so we we're, we're each other's filter. In that sense, it's a less lonely experience. And uh, so speaking about the artwork, uh, it's like speaking about the, the, the story or the script. Uh, it's just uh, something that we develop together, I think. Mm -hmm. You see how I, yeah, uh, yes, how, how I, 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 I got credit for the artwork when I didn't draw <laughs> no, one no, single. No, 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 but it's, it's uh, teamwork. It's a teamwork. Yeah, uh, so that's it. I, I guess that's the way we found uh, that works for us, you know. Mm -hmm. One of the things I'm excited for, because I barely play the piano, mm -hmm. so I want to try that uh, the composition that yeah. you included. Who? How did you come up with that? And you need Can to I answer go? that. All right. Yeah. So uh, it, I wrote the whole book, and there was a. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we wrote we we had the book ready to go yeah. to the printer uh, but there's an important musical piece in the story and one said I mean you play the piano you write music you should write the song and I said you know it's like a monster in the closet if you do see it it's always worse than the one you imagined but one said yeah I got got it. So so I understand that you don't want to write it because I thought every uh, the music each reader would imagine would be a lot better than yeah. what I could write. But on the other hand, he said that's stupid because you're missing an opportunity to have the reader interact. Uh, once he finishes the book, he can go to an instrument and connect with the characters, connect with the overall feel feel of the book. So I said, okay, I'll try. I'll see what I can do. And it was rather fast. I wrote the song. Yes, but two days before. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I really thank him for that because he, he unblocked something. He yeah. unblocked a creative uh, block that I had. I said, I'm not going to do it. And he said, you should do it. And I thank you for that. Because and it's crazy because you can find there are several uh, versions in YouTube, for example, in different instruments, in piano and guitar and wow. accordion. It's very... It's moving to see that somebody actually took the, wor the, the work to re play the song. You know, mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Well, it's the, it's the backbone of it. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. I guess so. Most excellent. And one more thing before I let, let you go. When you when you uh, wrote it, it was all in Spanish. So, are you happy with the English version that you're presenting it here? Oof. Well, we're actually a big mess culturally because I'm from <laughs> Portugal, he's from Argentina, and we're now in the U.S. So, I wrote it in Portuguese. Uh, you wrote it in Portuguese. Yeah, in Portuguese. Yeah. <laughs> then it, it it was translated to Spanish, so we could read it more fluently. Although yeah. he speaks Portuguese. No, no, he's been yeah, there the so first many version times. I read was and then in Portuguese. Our friend uh, Gabriela, Portuguese uh, friend who does also the lettering for the book, so this is like whole, all homemade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She then translated it to English. And uh, can I just say one more thing? Because sure. I don't want to talk too much, but it's so you see how, how homemade and how beautiful it is for us to be here. That we decided that we'd, we'd send it. We've had the, the, the PDF manuscript and we sent it to one publisher, a random publisher a day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to the acknowledgement section of the books I love and I found one name, Chris Terrace. And I said, This is the guy that I should send an email to. Out of the blue, he got it. And uh, two hours later, he said, You know, I get a lot of these. But not frequently I get one that I have to read till the end and I called Juan in Argentina and I said you know what we're gonna be in top shelf which was our, like our dream so this kind of stuff happens without connections without lobbies or what this ha happened so naturally we're very very grateful yeah very grateful 
Most excellent. Well, hey, thank you very much for speaking to us. And hey, once again, congratulations and welcome to the United States. Thank you, thank you for promoting um, Ballot for Sophie. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.